In this lesson, I want to discuss nerves of the lumbar and sacral plexus. Now, here we can see a variety of nerves, and we'll note that a lot of the nerves of the lumbar plexus, these guys dump way beyond the uh, area of the lumbar enlargement, where these guys dump off, um, uh, they go further down. Uh, now, a few things we can actually see they're not associated with here on other things, especially here you can see the conus medullaris. conus medullaris, and coming off of that, a small projection of pia mater called the phylum terminale, or the terminal fiber. And also here you can see the mass area here known as the cauda equina because of its appearance to a horsetail. Now we'll continue looking on at nerves that we can see of lumbar plexus and sacral plexus. And the first nerve that we can see here, and if you look at it, it will be the one below where the stomach would be and the one yet above the ilium. So it's above the ilium, it's associated near the ilium, but below the stomach. So this nerve is called the ilio hypogastric nerve, iliohypogastric nerve. Now, if I continue on, and I'll use blue here to show the next one, below him, he is again above the ilium, but he's closer now to the groin area. So what we will call him is the ilio inguinal nerve, ilioinguinal or ilioinguinal nerve, since of his position. Now if we continue looking on, and I can use purple here to show the next one, we're just going to show this part of it. It does have two branches. It does have a genital branch and a femoral branch, but this is the genitofemoral nerve, the genitofemoral nerve. Now, for the other nerves that we can see, and the reason I wait to show this one, I give you a nice landmark. You have these two nerves and the genitofemoral nerve, and we're looking for this nerve here. Now, a few things to help you remember this nerve. If you find this, that is the femoral nerve, would you also agree that this nerve is lateral to that nerve? So this is lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Now, a few of the nerves that can be seen and rather well discerned on this model, um, if we outline it very clear, you can see the nerve here associated near the obturator foramen. This would be the obturator nerve, obturator nerve. Now, you can see the major contributions here to the sciatic nerve, the major, the sciatic nerve, um, and a few things there you can see. Now, we have made some special notes on coccygeal nerves, even though we do not have to identify them. You do have to know there are eight cervical nerve pairs, eight cervical nerve roots, uh, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, 1 coccygeal nerve. So that's that one coccygeal nerve that we do discuss, but we really don't ever have to identify it anatomically. So really that is the nerves that we can see on this model, very well discernible. A few things that we can make special note of there. Uh, so other than that, those are the things we primarily need to know and be able to see from this model. Uh, there are a couple other views that we have, but this is the best one to see the nerves, which I wanted to focus on there. And this concludes my video on nerves of lumbar and sacral plexus. Thank you.